Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from OnlinePhotographyTraining.com. Welcome to my free training on On One Photo Raw 2019. In today's episode, I want to take a look at some of the more common effects you may use on your images. Now I'm going to work on this image here and in the develop module all I did was tone and color adjustments and I did lens corrections. I didn't do anything else. So I'm going to bring it over to effects and I'm going to add a few effects that are relatively common effects. And also I'm going to introduce masking uh, to you and we're going to get more in depth on masking in our next video. Now to get into effects of course just click on the effects tab and it starts out without any effects on it at all and I think uh, what I'd like to do is enhance the sky when I was there at this place in this morning the sky was absolutely incredible like almost every color of the rainbow was in the sky and as you could see it looks interesting but it's it's missing that color so what I want to do is add a filter and I think I want to and um, add a photo filter. This is relatively common filter that you would add to an image. So we're going to click on that and you'll notice as soon as it was applied it, uh, it did something to the image. So I'll turn it off and then on and you can see now I don't necessarily like that. Now what you'll find is all of these filters have presets in them. Now these aren't to be co confused with the presets that are over here on the left hand panel which I currently have closed down. If I click right here in this icon in the lower left you'll see we have these presets here. What these presets are are groups of filters uh, that are put together to create the preset. Now these are called basically effects uh, panel presets. Over here what we have are filter presets. So going across the top we have filter presets and I could click. There's an 85 style and those of you not familiar there's uh, filters that are called their number 85 filters and they're a warming filter. And you can see that warm the image up quite a bit. There's an ND grad filter that's neutral density so it's going to make the sky darker. There's a warm cool filter so that's a split filter. The top will be warm and the bottom will be cool. And the great thing about this specific filter that we're using, the photo filter, is you could um, really adjust and fine tune it. So if you liked this one, and you could see that it's got the transition zone pretty much in the middle, you could go down here where it uh, says position, and this part that says distance, you could move that and you could then adjust the transition zone to put it right where it needs to be for your image. So you have a lot of control over the filters themselves. We have a center filter and this, although you can't see it as much here, it's um, really just affecting the center of the image and not affecting anything around the center. Now I should add that there's actually four different types of filters. If we look here at filter type and we click on that drop down, you'll see there's solid, graduated, bicolor, and center filter. And that's what these filter presets kind of cover all those bases. And you can see as we hover over all these different filters, we'll see the effects. So you could go through all those. Now what I want to do is really enhance the sky and not enhance the grass. So I want to do more of a warm grad. This is this filter right here. So when I click on it, um, it may be difficult to see, but I'll turn saturation up. The, it's affecting the top of the image and it's making the top warmer. So what I could do then is fine tune it with this distance slider, put it more towards the bottom. I want it to mainly affect the sky right in here because it was very warm uh, in here and then it really went out and we had all different colors up here and it really was had some cool colors up in the sky. When I say cool colors I don't mean like you know peachy keen cool. I mean like the color bluish uh, cool. So we had cool colors up there. We had these warm colors down here 
and it was really uh really a tremendous looking uh, sky on this morning so i want to try to recapture that in this raw file so i'm going to bring saturation up a little bit so you could come in again and fine tune the um the actual filter to your image and i i think i like that so there's before and there's after there's before and there's after and you could see it darken that sky quite a bit as well and you know you could add a polarizer as well but i'm not going to i don't think it's needed on this one now um i kind of like what that one did but it still isn't where the actual scene was and i could add saturation here with this filter but i really don't like the effect that the saturation slider is doing here it, it, on this filter so i'm going to uh hopefully better tune in saturation so what i want to do is add a different filter and i want to add a color enhancer filter and this is where we're going to introduce the mask i'm going to go to saturation on this filter and, and then again like all these other filters, you have the presets for the filter going across the top, and then we have presets along this drop down as well. So I could choose one of those presets if I'd like to, but I think I'm just going to go straight to the saturation slider and kind of push that to the right. And you can see how that is maybe better affecting the sky uh, because the photo filter preset that I used was. Um, was a uh, polarizing, warm polarizing graduator. So when I increased saturation, it was making the sky uh, even darker, and I didn't like that effect. That's why I prefer now this color enhancer. You could see that it seems to do, in my opinion, a better job. But what it is doing, it's also affecting the grass. I just want it to affect the sky. So what we could do is we could mask out the effect on the grass. To do that, we have to activate the mask. To do that, right to the left where it says Color Enhancer, you'll see a little mask there. Just click on that, and you're at, you've now activated the mask. And you can see it's a white mask, so that means the effect is going through and affecting every single pixel. So we need to mask it out of this bottom part. By default, it's going to open the brush for you. And you'll notice at the top, we have some brush attributes. We want to be in the paint out mode. We want to paint away the effect. Now you could do it opposite. You could paint in the effect, but you'd need to invert the mask to do that. So you'd invert it. You'd get a black mask, which removes the effect from everywhere. Then you could go up here to this mode and paint in the effect in the sky. That would work well, especially if you don't want to hit the sculpture. But in my case, I'm going to do it as the default white mask, and we're going to paint out the effect on the grass. And I'm going to uh, use the right bracket key and make the brush a little bigger. I'm going to leave opacity at 100% and feather at 50. And I'm just going to paint across the bottom third of this image to paint away the effect. So we're not enhancing the sky. Now it might not look like I'm doing anything and it might be difficult to see exactly where I painted. So what you could do is you could put the mask overlay on and to do that go down here right where this little square is with the circle in the minute and click on that and you'll notice when I do I get this red overlay and that is everywhere I painted so I could make sure I didn't miss anywhere. If you don't see the red and you're seeing black and white, go up to the top where it says mask, click on that and go to view mode and make sure you're in the red overlay mode. If you're in the grayscale mode, <laughs> that's what you're going to see. So mask, view mode, red overlay mode. So we want this. Now I want the um, color enhancer effect to go on the ice as well because the ice is reflecting what's in the sky. So I want to kind of cut it off right there. So I'm going to get a smaller brush. Now I already painted out the effect, but it's kind of overlaid on the, gra on the uh, excuse me, on the uh, ice a little bit. So I want to paint in the effect now. So I'm going to go up to the mode, go to paint in, 
and I could come up here and I could just kind of remove it. It's basically like an eraser, right? So I'm erasing what I did. Now a little trick to use this brush, if you'd like to paint a straight line, click once in one area, let's say in this far left area, click once with the left mouse button, go to the opposite area, hold the shift key in and click a second time and you'll draw a perfectly straight line. And you can see how I have that mask now right on the edge of the grass. Now we're hitting the uh, bottom of the, or the base of the sculpture. I think that's okay. That's not a big deal. I'm going to go back to paint out mode and I want to paint out the effect over here on this little point that's coming out. So you can see our mask is coming on when I do that. And we can make sure we hit there. I'll paint it out on this post there. And to make it more even, I'll paint it out on this all the way. Now I could go through and I could do it all the way on the sculpture as well, but I'm not going to because I don't think it's that important. Um, but I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to turn off the mask overlay. I'm going to go back down here in this lower left-hand corner and click on that little uh, icon again. So we turned off that red overlay. So now we have our mask and you can see it right here how the part that's black that's where it's not being applied the color enhancer filter is not being applied in that area with where it's black but it is being applied in the area that it's white and there is without the filter and with the filter, without the filter with the filter and you can see how it's not affecting the grass and now if I'd like to see it and how it affects the grass I'm just going to go up here and reset the mask. So look at the grass, and there I'm resetting it. So you could see how it really did kind of take that uh, color enhancing away from the grass. Now I'm going to hit Command Z to undo what I just did. It's Control Z if you have a PC. So we return to our full mask. So I think that looks pretty good. I like that. We're starting to get back to the way the sky looked. Now. The other filter that I commonly use, and actually I think most photographers commonly use, is the Dynamic Contrast Filter. It's really one of the best filters in all of post-processing, in my opinion. Um, click on that, and as soon as you do, you could see it added some Dynamic Contrast. There is Before, and there's After. You could see it it's really makes it look really sharp, right? And I really like what it did to the sky. I really don't like what it did to the grass. Now I could come in here and I could fine tune this. We have the filter presets going across the top. We have this neutral, which is what it just added. We have surreal, that's kind of an HDR look, right? We have the soft, so you can make it a, give it a soft look. We also have another uh, preset in the drop down. two more. We have grunge contrast, which looks kind of bad, and texture enhancer. And you could come in and then and fine-tune it to your liking with the, the sliders themselves. And we'll get more detail as we get in uh, further into this series. But I'm going to stay with natural right now. Now I mentioned I do like what it did to the sky, but I really don't like what it did to the grass. Again, there's before and there's after. Now I could come back in and I could mask this, right? And I could paint in the mask. But... I just did it. I just did a mask on Color Enhancer. And it's going to be the same exact mask. So what I'm going to do is click on Color Enhancer. And right here where it says Copy, I'm going to copy that mask to the clipboard of the computer. Okay. So it's copying the mask. Once it's done rendering, We'll then go up to Dynamic Contrast. I'll activate the mask for that by clicking on the little mask icon. And then I'm going to click on Paste. And watch the grass as soon as I click on Paste. It removed, it, it copied the mask and it removed that effect from the grass. So I hope you could see how powerful masking is and in general and how you could really uh, fine tune your images in the effects panel of On One Photo Raw 2019. I think it really is a powerful feature of the application. Now, one more filter we're gonna add in this video, and that I think is a filter that most of us use to finish up our 
our images, and that is the vignette filter. So it's right here. And as soon as it went on, it added kind of something, I think. No, maybe it didn't. Maybe it didn't. Yeah, it doesn't add anything. Some filters, I should point out, some filters, when you apply them, you notice that with the photo filter and the dynamic contrast filter, as soon as you add them, it does something to your image. And you might want to just turn it off and on real quick to verify that it did something so that you could get back to ground zero if you need to. Um, on the other hand, some of the filters don't do anything when you first apply them. Vignette is one of them and Color Enhancer is another. So um, you could try some of the filter presets going across the top. There's a subtle uh, vignette. And oh, I should add why many of us like to add a vignette to our image is if you especially darken the uh, edges of your photo, it helps push the viewer's gaze more towards the middle of the image and uh, they won't like you know look off from the image so there is a strong vignette big softy there's just edges you have a lot of control uh here the filter presets you have a lot to choose from and you have uh white vignettes as well light and edges white edges white vignette typically i don't care for the whiter vignettes i like the dark darker vignettes and i like to click on big softy but often, as in the case here, Big Softy tends to encroach a little bit too much into the middle of the image. So I will come back in here and I will kind of fine tune it by going to the size slider and pulling it away from the edges. So I'll pull it away. So I'll click on Big Softy, then I'll come in here and I'll fine tune it and maybe, maybe not have it as dark. There's before and there's after. Now a cool thing about um, On One Photo Raw 2019 is you could place the center of the vignette and that's something you can't do with an uh, application like Lightroom and if you'd like to recenter the vignette click on this little icon right here and when you do you could click anywhere in the image and put the center of the vignette wherever you'd like so if I want to center it right around here I could click there and you could see it shifted over to the left a little bit. And that might be a better application for this image. Um, and if you don't like that, you could then maybe recenter it there. Something like that. I think that looks pretty cool right there. Um, so lots of um, application uh, things you could do. Now what I'm doing now is I'm holding the shift key in. And I'm, here let me start over. Click on the icon to center the, or place the center of your vignette wherever you like. Then hold the shift key in, and then click down and hold the left mouse button in. And you can see you could drag it around and put it wherever you like. Kind of like it right there. So I think that looks pretty cool. So that's the vignette. And again, I think that's one that most of us would always use. Now, to tell you the truth, this image isn't really where I like it. Uh, the it, the sky was really a lot more um, like incredible than, than I'm showing here. This was one of the best skies I've ever saw in my life. Uh, it had a lot of warm tones, a lot of cool tones in it. Um, I still didn't really capture it yet, so I would probably, on my own, come back in here and you know readjust a lot of these filters and maybe add something else. But for the sake of this video, I think we're okay. Now in our next episode, I'm going to continue with effects, but I had mentioned in previous videos that I really don't like the develop module uh, to do sharpening and noise reduction. I prefer to do it in effects because in effects you have that mask. So you could selectively sharpen parts of your image with the mask. You could select, selectively remove noise in parts of your image with the mask. So that's why I prefer to do that in effects and in our next episode we're going to be doing that thank you for watching my free video training on on one photo raw 2019 please do me a favor and like and share this video also subscribe to my youtube channel and in the description below this video you'll see ways that you could help me keep making free photography how-to videos finally 
visit my website, onlinephotographytraining.com. There, you'll find over 900 videos and articles to help you with your photography. And of course, they're all free. Thank you.